In this video, we're going to talk about how to compute the RMS value of a sinusoidal source. And so consider over here this sinusoidal current with a amplitude I0. And so remember, when we want to calculate this uh, R, uh, sorry, call it RMS value, you have to do the steps, square everything first, take the mean, and then you calculate the root of that. And so what I've done here, I've squared this sinusoid. And so this is what you see over here, right? And of course, you can see quite clearly the period should correspond to somewhere over there. Now, so when you square I0, you get I0 squared. So the next step, of course, is to find the mean, which means we would need to get the area under these little things over here for one period and divide it by the period. Now, the problem, of course, is that to find the area under this curve, we would need to perform some sort of integration. Thankfully, in the GCEA levels, right, we use a little trick. So what we need to do, we need to draw some little lines here. Okay, so again, we're only going to consider one period. Okay, subdivide these into little squares like this. Okay, right, let's hope. Hopefully, this makes it easy to see. And what you'll be able to notice is that this part over here will fit very nicely in there. And we can keep doing this. And so essentially, what this simplifies into, you'll be quite pleased with this result, is something like this. That's the period. And this would be I0 squared over 2. Now, with this simplified graph, well, that's an, area, that's an area I can definitely compute. And so let's do it. Okay, and so the area would simply be I0 squared over 2 times T. And then, of course, I have got to divide this by the period. And if we want to find the VRMS, the final step, of course, is to root the whole thing. And so what's going to happen now is that these T's will cancel. And so you will get I0 over square root 2. And so for a sinusoidal source, oh, this I RMS, sorry, V RMS is its peak value over square root 2. And indeed, I RMS is the peak current over square root 2. But remember, this is only for sinusoidal sources. Okay, and so if it is a sinusoidal source, you can use these identities immediately without proving them. If it's a square wave, you've got to use the SMR methodology to find the RMS value.